Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Journey to CCIE, starring Ronnie Wong and myself, Anthony Sequeira. What are we going to talk about in this episode? We are going to talk about the future of the Journey to CCIE program here on YouTube. Ronnie, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I'm not as learned about Star Wars as many of the people I teach with at IT Pro TV. But I think, isn't there a big deal where, like, you know, there's the master and there's an apprentice, and then the master hands over the reins to the apprentice? Isn't that a Star Wars thing? It sure seems well, like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie and I are I, pretty much equal. I think we're both Star Wars fans, but we, uh, you know, don't necessarily know all there is to know. No. So anyways, yeah, you know, we're going to kind of transition these episodes. I've been focusing a lot with Ronnie, uh, and him and I have been really trying to help everyone when it comes to overall strategy and study approaches to CCIE. But now that we've gotten that done... I'm going to kind of hand the reins over to Ronnie, who has been working very hard on the technical aspects of what you need to know from a CCIE perspective, and Ronnie has volunteered to start sharing that with our YouTube community. Ronnie, I know you and I chatted, oh, it wasn't last weekend, but it was the weekend before. You were working hard on a little protocol called BGP. That's right. Uh, I started to really get my uh, uh, footing down, right, uh, in terms of studying for the CCIE. And I decided to go ahead and begin with BGP because it was one of those foundational technologies that we had already talked about that will help us to get connectivity all the way through as one of the core tasks that we need to do. And so I'm actually going to be taking a look at that over the next probably a couple of weeks and make sure that, you know, I've got that foundationally strong and then go into some of the details on it. But in the future, of course, I'll share some of the different things that have tripped me up as well as some of the tips that I think that will also help out as people are studying like I am on the CCIE journey. I love it, Ronnie, especially since topics like BGP and multicast and some of these topics, I mean, let's face it, it, it always struck me as interesting because like when you're reading about BGP and when you're looking at examples that someone else has done, it just seems so simple right. but then sure enough when you sit down at cml or gns3 or however you're practicing it's like oh my gosh why isn't this working and you can really start pulling your hair out so it's so great that you're going to be sharing tips with our audience on practicing these specific technologies uh, and Ronnie, I, I just thought to ask you, I didn't uh, think to ask you about this when we spoke a couple weeks ago about this, but are you indeed using CML? Did you decide on that as your primary practice tool? Right. The CML is going to be my primary practice tool for now while I'm at work because it does require an internet connection for it to be able to do its work and everything. But at home, because I have satellite internet, GNS3 will be my main practice lab there. So even though the technology is not exactly the same, the overall function of BGP works perfectly fine in both environments as I do that. So I'm taking some of the tips and tools that you've talked about and setting a daily schedule and making sure I'm actually doing it uh, the way that I need to. So I'm getting here at work a little bit earlier than I normally do, setting there up into the time when the work time actually starts. And then, of course, in the evenings, I'm also doing another hour, hour and a half there. And then on the weekends, a full eight-hour day there, too. Wow. Ronnie just said he's coming into work even earlier. Everyone, I think that's about 3 a.m. <laughs> by my calculations. Right, right as I'm going to bed, Ronnie is going into work, it seems like. Well, Ronnie, I can't thank you enough for, you know, volunteering to share that, the, those, those great episodes upcoming with our audience. And I want everybody to know that I'm not going anywhere. I'll be lurking at the very <laughs> least. You can guarantee that I'll be lurking. And, and I can't wait to help answer questions oh, on some of these things, yeah, as we get deeper into the technology. And, you know, don't forget this. Ronnie reminds me of this all the time. Just kind of one last passing word of wisdom, if you will. But Ronnie 
so reminds me of this all the time. It, it, it's that whole thing about, do you want to spend an hour researching something when you can just really quickly ask someone that would know, right? I mean, sometimes there is great benefit to doing your own research, to going through that pain. There is real benefit that you can get there sometimes, but many times it would have been time better spent that hour and, you know, save that time and just ask someone the question. So we'll be standing by as always looking for your questions on this particular playlist channel at the IT Pro TV YouTube channel. And by the way, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and maybe even click on that bell so that you get notifications. Well, Ronnie, I know I am super excited for your upcoming episodes that will be focused more on technology and I can't wait to help out there when I can.